Right, guys, Gaffed is back with the explanation to Gaffer's Shrunk the Deck. You are going to need a mini packet of bicycle playing cards. Now, this is a mini packet of bicycle playing cards, but this is not made by the USPCC card company because these are absolute trash. But they work great for this because you're going to rip them up anyway. So you're going to take your deck. Now this is a blank deck, it doesn't need to be a blank deck, it can be any deck, but this is what I found lying around. You are going to need one card that you're going to force, so you're going to get your standard two, and then take out the two from this packet. These are like Chinese knockoffs, they're all shiny and plasticky. So they've got no use for actually using them, but for tearing them up, brilliant. So you'll find your of the matching card and you'll rip this one in half. Now what I did, I got a tiny bit of glue stick, only a tiny dab, tiny dab on the back of this card and you're going to stick this onto the back of any one of the cards in the deck. Now that's just a tiny dab just so this card doesn't slide off in the deck but it's enough that it will just stay there without falling off. You are then going to need your top of the box gas. Yeah, so we'll use one of those. So that's going to go on the top, followed by your force card. So that's the setup. Force card, top of the box gaff, you're already ripped up too. That should stay on there. You are also going to need the box that you created the other day with a little holdout flap in the back to steal and vanish the original card you're going to rip up. So I'm going to put all these in the box and I'm going to slide this little two just in the box. Now because it's a tiny piece, it sits in the bottom of the box. It shouldn't come out when you open the box. Be careful if you're doing this on a camera because depending on which way around this is, you can see it. I think this way you can't see it, this way you can see it. I'm not quite sure myself. Right, let me just show you a crazy card trick. Pull out all the cards. They should all come out and that little piece will stay in the bottom. Place the box aside, maybe turn it around so they don't see this funny edge. And then all I did was I gave the cards a fake cut, your standard fake cut. Swing cut the top portion, swing cut the, this portion, you're going to grab this portion. You can give these a bit of a shuffle if you want. Drop this down. And that's not what I did gaffer at all. So I've completely scrapped that. I'll tell you what I did. I just went, um, this is the top portion, which has got your gaff. I swung over another portion. I might have shuffled off a few of these, dropped it down, but this is where the top is. So you can just square it all up, catch a big break there, hold it and then say, right, we're going to riffle down to the spectator. It looks like you've cut and shuffled the cards. In fact, you have cut and shuffled the cards, but you have not disturbed your top stack, which is here. So they're going to call out stop. Wherever they call out stop, it's irrelevant. You're just going to break out your big break on the back and put these on the bottom and say, we have found the two of hearts. Take the two and rip it up. Oh, yes. You can show both sides of this card. Nothing to hide. And you're going to say you're going to place one card on top of the deck. This is on top of your magnetic top of the box gaff. This piece you're going to put in the box. So to the spectator, they're going to be looking at this, but in reality, you're going to open up your flap, drop this card in, and then close up the box. Remember, if you put the box this way around, they won't notice this big gap on the back, or you could put it this way down, whatever. And then you're just going to ask them if they've seen that film, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, while well, this is Gaffer. You shrunk the deck and all you're going to do is tap the box top of the box will steal the original card place this down and reveal a tiny little two of hearts a bicycle tiny little two god you have shrunk the card gaffer so if this card shrunk then surely and when you open the box you're going to pull on this flap squeeze on the sides and show that the card inside has also shrunk close the box up you can place it this way up now top of the box gaff no one's really going to notice that and show these two cards have in fact shrunk 
And a little bit of a kicker at the end, if you want a blank deck, is that it's a blank deck. This is completely irrelevant, the blank deck part of it, but this is just what I had lying around. So it's the top of the box gaff and the little hole deck flap, hidey hole, whatever you want to call it. So comment, subscribe, like for more reveals. And if you, nobody wants to buy a little packet of bicycle cards, if you're in the UK, give us a share and I'll just put a few in the post. It's only the cost of a stamp, it's nothing. Overseas, I'm not going to post them. It'll cost me £2 odd to post a few of these little cards. But that's how I did it, guys. So comment, subscribe, like for more reveals. Cheers.